I'm with Joe Cavanaugh. We're in the Tarket stand at Surfaces 2018. And Joe, how are you? I'm fantastic. We're having a, uh, a great show. Um, you can even just see, looking around here, we're having uh, you know, just there's a lot of people here. We got a lot of buzz, and uh, we're just glad to be back here. It's an interesting stand. Well, talk about talk about the decision to come back and to make a, you know the big impact that you're making. Well, you know, we, we didn't show at services uh, last year, and it's because we were realigning our residential sales team as well as our marketing team, and really we needed a, to come back in a big way. And so, um, you know, this year in 2019, we're really able to do that. Uh, we have a number of new products that are very innovative. Uh, we have a new product called Mill and Quarry, which has a, uh, a new superior urethane finish uh, that we call Tectonic. We have uh, new styles in our ProGen, which has been a smash hit for us, one of our most successful products ever, and, uh, and several other things. And so we just wanted to make sure that when we came back, we, we came back in a big way product-wise. That being said, one of the other things we wanted to do is really make sure we made a statement with our, with our booth itself. And, uh, and if you look around, what we're trying to kind of show is, uh, you know, Main Street America and, you know, where our... Uh, our independent retailers are and, and, and uh, kind of make them feel a little bit at home here. It's the most unusual stand, it really is. Yeah, we're really proud of it and really that, that's the look we were looking for. I mean, the, the plants in the background and the, uh, the facade of the, 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 you know, brick outer piece, it's really, it's, it's something. Very nice. Talk about the, 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 the realignment and, and, and why you were doing that realignment. Well, you know, we had a we had to make sure that we were getting um, not just more feet in the street, but we really needed to make sure we were doing a better job of, of, of penetrating and getting out to the independent retailer. You know, we go through distribution with Tarkat, and what we needed to do was become a better partner to those distributors, uh, really more focused on uh, on pull through demand rather than pushing it in. And so what we did is we, we added some people, but we really created a uh, um, a culture that is really much more aligned with with a, a pull through distribution model. So that means you had people calling on retailers on behalf of distributors? A hundred percent. It's probably what we do best. Uh, our, our distribution partners, would, I would think, would say that uh, that's one of the best attributes of dealing with Tarkat Residential is, is the, the presence we have in the field and, and how much you know, business we actually bring to them. Well, it really makes it a lot more effective. I mean, uh, I, I don't know any distributor sales, but I can imagine if you've got 20 things to sell, uh, you're probably effective in... A percentage of those and somewhat effective in the rest. Exactly and, and the other part of that is us being out there and working with, with the, the distributor reps it makes them more, more well trained in the product category so you're right if they have 20 products but they're really confident in five well then they're gonna push those five and that's what we want to make sure is that they're really confident with our, our products those are the, the products we're looking for that to happen. I guess having a salesman I mean I, I would imagine salesmen go to their go-to products for more sure. times than not because they they like them and they are well versed in them and I guess that's the mission of your salespeople. It is. We need we need them to be very very confident with with the products that we have. You know, no salesperson wants to be feel a little bit of embarrassment when when they're in the field, and so they want to feel like they absolutely know a product very very thoroughly. And and that's what our team is doing. They're helping train that and helping them to develop relationships with uh, with our retail partners. Talk to me about how the retail environment is changing. I mean, we've got lots of people. Everybody selling LVT, I think. Uh, I don't know if that, I think there was one over here and a couple aisles away, but everybody else is. Um, it's got to be an interesting environment for organizations like Tarquette. It is, and, uh, and I think we have to find ways to differentiate ourselves more than just product. Like, again, I mentioned that tectonic finish, which is really great. And it, it, uh, it's, it's strong against scratching and abrasion and, and, and things like that. And, and so innovative products is a big part of that. Um, but I also think showing the retailers that we're, we're, we're a better partner for them. And so we have a, an elite program that allows our retail partners to, to you know, take part in some co-op advertising and, and other things that we do, like like uh, you know, we have a TV show on uh, on Lifetime called Military Makeover. That we're the, uh, you know, we're going to be working with them all year long this year. And, and if retailers see that, they see us on TV, you know, promoting the Target brand and finding ways to bring traffic into their store. I think retailers appreciate that. That seems programs like that seem to be one of the most effective marketer of floor covering products to me anyway. It is. It really is effective, and it's uh, you know when you look at the, po the the percentage of the population that is actually looking for a floor at the time that that sh aired, it's it's not a, it's not a, a big number. But 
We're looking for a little bit of top of mind awareness so when they are looking for that floor that, uh, that, that Tarquette is who they're thinking about. So you, you, you talked about innovative product and scratch and dent, you know, resistant. Um, I guess, you know, the marketplace appears to me to be changing dramatically. I mean, people have always talked about innovation up to this point, but they didn't get to the innovation that we're doing now. Right. What, what drives that? I mean, is that surveys or what, if not? So yeah, we, we do a lot of uh, consumer group, uh, you know, data analysis, and, and that does help to drive it a lot. And I think for for Tarquette, we really need to find a way to differentiate in that sea of sameness in, in, in LVT and SPC and, and, and WPC products. And so we're, we're looking for ways to differentiate. We probably heard that that banging going on over there. That's that's somebody on my team dropping bowling balls on, on, on floors, and that's just one way to demonstrate how dent resistant a product can be. Um, and so we have to do that. It's a, it's a way for us to differentiate ourselves in this sea of sameness that, that's going on. That being said, I'll tell you, probably our biggest differentiator is, is in style and design. Our, our styles and, and, and design, our style and design team is, is just, they're terrific. When you look at, uh, at any one of our products right now, you'll see that it's, it's, the, it's the product that consumers are looking for in, in, in color and in, in, in design as well. Talk about your activity online. It seems like everybody, everybody educates themselves, and I guess over a period of time, on the internet, and that seems to be the a most important way to move product, it would seem to me. Talk about your whole idea as it relates to that. Well, again, you know, the way we go to market is through distribution, and, and you know, we, we partner up really strong with with our with our retail partners. And so, one of the things we're doing is, is because the independent retailer is so important to us, um, the way we're going to market with that is is through them. And uh, we we actually in that elite program that I talked about earlier, we have a a, a co-op advertising method that it's called Social Made Simple, and it just helps. We, we kind of like will handle uh, the social media part for them and, and help drive demand for their store and and uh, and really just use that those co-op dollars that are available for them and, and help in that regard. So that, that's how we're we're doing that. It seems like in a way that's a unique approach in that you know the the retail brand is really an important brand in any given town and to help bolster that would seem to be a you know a major function. It absolutely is, and you know, because we, we find that independent retailer to, to, to be so important, and, and you know, retail is, is, is extremely difficult right now. There, there's no doubt about it. You, you won't find any retailer walking around here that, that won't tell you that it's a little bit harder now than it was 10 years ago. Um, so the more we can do to help them uh, grow their business and, and, uh, and drive demand into their stores, the better off we're going to be. What's your vision for retail five, 10 years down the road? They tell me there's something like, 10,000 give or take retailers. What do you suppose that number is going to be if we're sitting here talking five years from now? I'd hate to forecast the number, but certainly it'll be less, right? I mean, we see um, year over year as I, as I uh, do my own sales analysis, I, we, we have less and less retailers buying. Um, so there's, there's really two things I see. In the independent retail chain, I do see some independent retailers that are getting much larger. Um, you know, they're, they're uh, growing through acquisition of existing stores and, and, and growing their footprint. So I do think we'll see more of that. I, I think we'll see more uh, consolidation of, of the independent retailers and have some, some larger people there. Um, I also think it will change. There'll, there'll be some... Uh, metamorphosis of online and, and brick and mortar. And I'm not sure how it's going to work because uh, the one component of flooring that makes things a little bit difficult is, is the installation piece, but uh, but someone's going to figure that out. And, uh, and I think that, that that will probably be the biggest change that we'll see in, in the industry. Have you seen, you know, at, in your organization and with your retail partners, have you seen the fact that the shortage of qualified installers has hurt their business? We do see it a little bit, and, and uh, you know, and in many ways, we're trying to make the products a little bit easier to install to, to do that. Um, you know, 
that ProGen product that I was talking about a little bit earlier, we specifically uh, worked with it to make sure it was easy to score and snap because we knew we were going to have to make it a little bit easier at installation. We also gave it additional flexibility so that somebody who's not uh, familiar with, uh, with, with a, a click rigid product would be able to, to, to have an easier time at it. So we're, we're developing products that will make it easier for the, for the mechanic or the installer to, to, to do it. Show us some of these new product innovations, if you would. Yeah, Could you do that? To. That'd be great. Yeah, sure. Come on. All right, so one of the items that I'm most proud of this year that we're introducing at, at Services is this mill and quarry with Tectonic Technology. This is made in our Florence, Alabama facility, which is something that's kind of special. You don't see a lot of LVT U.S. produced in this, uh, at Services this year. Um, and this tectonic, tectonic Technology really just makes a, uh, a better product for the consumer. It will be more durable longer. So, you know, as, as, as we were taking a look at the consumer and, and some of the, the pain points that they might be having in, in the LVT category, it was really related around scratching and scuffing. And so what we wanted to do is create a, a, a new urethane. That's, we we'll probably have to edit that, but that's right. We wanted to create a new urethane that was much more, much stronger against uh, scratching and scuffing. And so that, that's what we've done um, with, with this new Tectonic product. What we ended up doing is, is four tile designs, um, all which are grottable, so that'll be really, you know, make an interesting look. And then created another uh, eight different uh, wood looks, and I wanted to just bring your attention to one of these. Because what we did is, in the wood looks, we really try to, kind, to, to, to find styles that would look good grouted. Like a, like, a, like a ceramic tile and so when you look at this you can easily see how, a, how grout would actually help this product uh, look really good in that, in that environment. So one of the products we're most proud of is our ProGen line. It's been an, an incredible success over the last 18 months or so and right now we're getting ready to do our, uh, our first update to it. So earlier we heard people dropping bowling balls over there, we heard that loud bouncing noise. This is the product that they're doing it on and it's just, it's, it's just an incredibly tough product that can handle the, you know, handle a bowling ball dropping on it. Um, so we ended up doing seven new styles. Um, this is the first one, this is Durham Pine, I hope this, this this Durham Pine ended up being one of our number one sellers in the uh, in the line before. So all we did is we updated it with a little bit more of a, uh, a gray tone, a little gray charcoal tone. The others that we really wanted to focus on is this West Oak. So one of the areas that we felt like we missed a little bit in the beginning on the design was the painted bevels style. That's been very, very popular. And so what we did is we created this West Oak, which has four designs, all with a painted bevel. So we have this color here, drift, nice little uh, well driftwood look, and, and really just if you look at the knot there, the clarity in this is is really just beautiful. And then we have it in natural. And one of the trends that we're seeing is it, it, even in the uh, the hardwood manufacturers here is really a, a, just a, a natural stain. And so we wanted to incorporate that with this. So we got, we have a natural stain with a nice painted bevel here, and again, really good accentuation on the knots. This style is called, or this color is called Montaigne, and this one's really going to pop through on, on the knotting and the selling design. And this is really has a, a terrific embossing with it as you're as you're looking at that. And then the last color is this North Shore Pine, which really just gives a nice little uh, bit of a wire brush look, and uh, and just is in that right tone of of grayish, which is very very popular right now.